Hi, I'm Mike Holt with Iron Tracks. Today we're going to do an appraisal on a Kenworth T880 truck. We're going to take a look at the VIN number first off in the door jam of the truck. Here we have the VIN number of the truck, and then we're going to write down what the model of the truck is, a T880. We can also get some other information off this, like uh, the engine model. It's a 485. Uh, transmission is a Eaton Fuller Advantage. Your rear end's 40,000 pound. Rear axle ratio is 390. And then we're gonna take a look at the engine compartment. Here we have the Cummins X15 engine. And we can see up on top of the engine, we can get the horsepower and all the other information about the engine on the tag. We also take a look and we see it has a fuel water separator on it. We got the power steering. We're gonna look and see if the truck has disc brakes or drum brakes while we're here. This one has disc. The other thing we're gonna look at is see what type of suspension on the front. This one happens to have a spring ride suspension. You could also have an air ride. If it has air ride, you're gonna have a couple airbags right here in the front end. One other thing we need to make note of is what size tires these trucks have. So this one happens to have 11R22.5 tires. We're also gonna look at the tread depth on them. This truck happens to have brand new tires on it. So this, the front is brand new, and then we would take a look at the rear also. Now that we're inside the truck, we're gonna take a look at some of the options that the truck has. We're gonna look down on the dash. We're gonna see that it has a sliding fifth wheel, a PTO, um, full locking rear ends, air conditioning, um, an engine brake, cruise control. We're also gonna take a look and see that uh, we have power windows and locks on each door, power mirrors, and heated mirrors. Now we're gonna take a look at the back of the truck. Here we're gonna make a note that we have a single aluminum fuel tank on the left-hand side. The right-hand side is actually for the hydraulic fluid for the PTO. We notice that we have the hookups for a PTO right here. Uh, I'm also gonna take a look and see if it's a double frame or a single frame. This one happens to have just a single frame only. From there, we're gonna move to the back a little bit. We're gonna make a note that it has an air slide fifth wheel. We can see that with the hose right here. I'll take a little look into here. It has a Kenworth eight bag air ride system on it for the suspension. We're gonna make a note that it has uh, fenders, plastic fenders on it over the wheels. We're also going to look and see what type of wheels it has. This one has aluminum on the outside. We need to make sure that it has aluminum on the inside also. So we just come around, take a look. This one has steel on the inside. We're also going to take a look while we're here, see which brakes we have. This one happens to have drum brakes. Remember the front had disc brakes. So if this had a disc brakes front and rear, that would be an upgrade for the option. We would make note of that. The other thing we would make a note of is we would do the check the wheelbase on this also, and we would measure from the center cap of the steer axle to the very center of the rear axles to get your wheelbase of the truck. You can also see through the hole on the wheel that this one here has the aluminum wheel on the outside and the inside one through here is a steel wheel. You can tell by the painted white. On this truck, we're gonna also make a note that this truck does not have a sleeper on it. So this is more of a regional truck or a, a day cab as they call it. Uh, so it's not gonna do long runs. It's gonna be more on the shorter hauls, you know, probably coming home every night. For all your appraisal needs, contact Iron Tracks.